All right, we are back for round one. Hopefully, I will not have issues with my land. <laughs> well, that's that's kind of that's kind of funny. Uh, I was, you know, I was anticipating not having enough land, but this hand is just. I don't think I can keep that. Like, if my deck doesn't do anything du during the first two or three turn, it it will never win a game. So yeah, I think I have to mulligan that. Kinda unfortunate, but not a whole lot I can do. Well, that one is kinda clunky too, but I think I will keep it. I mean, I don't think that going to 5 on the play is gonna be a, a receipt to, to win any game. And hopefully I can get a 2 drop. Pretty clunky since I just have 2 5 drop and I got them in, in, in this hand. Don't really want to trick here. Yep, yep, yep. Well, <laughs> Not a whole lot I can do here, but that's definitely not what I was hoping for. Okay, Ember Eyed Wolf is actually kind of decent, especially since I might not have a lot to do with my mana for a few turns. Hopefully I will have things to do, but I might not, so that's decent. Alright, well at least I'm hitting my land drop, which... I guess it's kind of a good news. Let's pump that thing. And pass the turn. I mean the priority and then the turn. Drawing a mountain next turn would be very good. Then at least it means I can cast everything in my hand. Could be an ingenious cab here. Drag under. Okay, so actually it's fine. Especially if I draw a mountain, it's fine with me. Dragonder, not the best combo against uh, his creature. My mana is not being very kind to me here. Especially when I'm playing uh, what 9 mountains, 7 planes. It's kind of clunky, but whatever. I mean, I drew some sort of pressure. I have 2 5 drop, 2, two pretty fi good 5 drop to play. And my opponent hasn't been doing much. Scar doesn't seem very good in a blue black deck, by the way. So, all in all, it's fine with me. Okay, well, that's that's pretty nice, I would say. Um, question now: Should I attack first or not? Well, this cannot block. If my open blocks with the air, and we trade, I'm fine. If they block and discard a card, I'm fine too. Uh, or I could werewolf now. I think either way my opponent will not block. I'll attack first, this way I give less information to the opponent. I don't think it will matter. Again, if they block and discard a card, I'm fine. If they don't block, I'm fine. So, yeah. Be my guest at whatever you want to be doing, basically. I just hope I don't draw more lands, but... Well, actually, 6 means I can flip that. That thing is pretty insane, by the way. That thing is really good. Okay, so they blocked here. Well, if they block and we simply trade... It's, it's also fine with me, actually. Okay. Uh, fine with me. Fine. And let's smolder those two things away. Goodbye. That's about as much value as you can get out of that card. So that's pretty sweet. And next turn my opponent cannot afford to play a two toughness creature, otherwise, you know, I just flip my thing and beat down. Since they did not play anything, I will just... Ah, I guess I should... Uh, I should play my land first this way if they want to play a 3-3 uh, three, three fly mid combat to block I can flip. Yeah, if they don't do anything I will just deal 3 though. Okay, let's play a constable. See if they want to counter that. No, then it's gonna be the big one. They might have a counter spell. 
more more likely just a flash creature or nothing, I guess. Okay. Well, now the opponent is, is in is in a lot of trouble. Yeah, quite a lot of trouble. They need to do something like really relevant here. I guess explorers is qualify as something relevant. Tenacity, it's not bad. Uh, so the plan now is probably just to flip that thing, right? If I want to flip it, I should flip it before I attack, though. Keeping tenacity available doesn't do a whole lot. I guess in theory my opponent is dead, right? I can kill this. Yeah, I can just tap that. Tenacity, boost that thing twice and the opponent dies, right? No, it would be 7 plus 4, 11. It wouldn't be lethal. Well, actually it would be lethal because I, I could attack with the stern constable. But if they have just one trick, I lose my all my end for no reason. I don't. I mean, in theory, I could kill my opponent right here, but I don't think it, there's any reason I should go for the kill right away when they have mana open, and when I can just attack with two creatures and apply pressure without doing anything else. So. I think it's quite safe to just flip that dude. And beat down, right? And actually I can still go for the kill here. Hmm. Should I go for the kill? And I think I will. I'll discard Tenacity because I don't think that card is actually matter gonna matter too much in that uh, precise spot. Just because, um, I mean, it's it's if they just concede, it's not something I want to show to my opponent actually. But if they add a trick, like J scrutiny or something like that, and they don't die. I'd rather have the greeting in my hand in case they, you know, they, they use the trick and they then play an insane creature that I have to deal with, basically. So we are playing it against a blue-black control deck of some sort. Okay. I think the nasty is not going to be at its best in this matchup, actually. Especially when the opponent knows about it. I don't think that machination is something... Well, actually, it could be kind of good in this kind of matchup. If they have just a bunch of creature with more toughness than uh, attack and some creatures with uh, very low... I mean, some pretty big, late, fat uh, creature that they emerge out. Yeah. Tenacity, again, is a very good card, don't get me wrong, but I think it's really good in the mid-range or aggro versus mid-range matchup. In, you know, in the aggro versus control matchup, this is not something I really want to be doing, I think. The innkeeper is probably fine, but I don't think I need another 4-drop. Another four Abandoned reason seems fine. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that until I have more information. Alright, well, despite mulliganing in a pretty mediocre hand, the deck worked out fine this game. Hopefully we can continue on that, uh, you know, kind of line. That hand seems good to me. Yep. Keep really like, you know, flipping the monger on my second turn. Then I have a trick on the back, the werewolf, if I ever draw another red, and obviously... Uh, Shepard was a good draw, so that's about the the best draw I can make, pretty much. Brazen Wolf, that's another very good and very aggressive card. 
Okay, let's play that and pass the turn. My opponent might choose the Dragonder on the Gossip Mongers. I think it's the name of the card. The Bounce Draw card. That'd be pretty good if they have that. But, you know, very beatable. Would still slow me down quite a lot. Okay, let's flip Mr. Monger. Might die in response to some sort of removal. No. Okay. Now, there is an issue because I don't know the set very well and I don't know if there is something I should worry about and not attack into. I mean, this will attack and this has to attack, but should I attack with Constable? I think I will. Because I, I cannot think of something that would really get me here, but obviously I don't know the set well enough, so I might be very wrong. Uh, and I think I'm gonna play the wolf. I mean, this 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 deals the most damage if my opponent doesn't have any blocker. My opponent deck seems kind of slow and clunky. I don't know. Nebel Ge Geist Herald. The thing is annoying, but it's not the best against the against the smoldering werewolf. And there aren't. I mean, in limited, you cannot play thousands of spirit that that have that have flash. So, the, my opponent will not be able to tap a cre creature each time I, I try to attack. Fog, water, Fog Walker is pretty good. Nice combo with the the herald. They don't really need it, but it's pretty good. If I hit my uh, land drop next turn, it's gonna be really good for me. I mean, if it's uh, a mountain. Otherwise, you know, I can play the Shepard and st or, you know, Abandon Reason and still be doing things, so it's completely fine. Ooh, that was an interesting thing to do, so no attack. So my opponent wants to double block here, I guess. Well, I don't think there's much that will go wrong if I just play my Wolf deal one and one. That thing is so brutal. That that thing is insane. And when you flip it, what the what the hell? It's just dumb. And now I can just attack with the rebel Jude and my opponent doesn't really have any good block. That <laughs> that card is I mean sometimes it will not do a whole lot, but most of the time Jeez, I'm glad I first picked that. It's been really really good so far. Ingenious cap, so it's either a 2-3 or a 3-2 currently. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, do I want to tap something in a turn? Do I have a kill if I do? Probably not. I can attack for a maximum of uh, this is four for for twelve next turn if I tap both creature and they don't have anything so it's not even a kill I don't think I should tap anything yet ooh drawing a land was actually pretty good I think I think what I will do now is tap the scab. Discard abandon reason. Menacing that out. I mean it's not the best use because you know it's a combat trick, so it's not the best combo, but it will still force damage or force a chum block, which I'm fine with. Uh okay. To mana. And then I can play the Shepherd. So yeah, probably not the best combo of all time, but you know, I'm just beating down and it's working out so far. And if my open takes all the damage here, they go down to four. So yeah, that's quite brutal. So 
so far. I mean, I, I've been having some pretty good draws, especially this game, but the open draws I, I've not been r really, you know, fast enough or good enough to stop the fury. Um, they might chum block the, the brazen wolf here. They might have to. I don't know, we'll see. And I don't think there's much that can happen for, you know, one blue mana that's going to be super bad. I cannot think of anything, actually. Okay, interesting choice. I don't really get that, because I can only pump that, pump, pump that once. And if I do first, I lose mana. And it's not going to deal more damage than any of the 4 power creature. So I don't really get that move. That was weird. Is there something the opponent was playing around? I don't know. Seems weird to me. Why would you... Because... If, I, if you let that deal damage to you, then I have to pay mana, which is not good for me, if I want to deal as much damage as these two. I, I, is there a trick? Like, if I give that double strike, I mean, I'd rather give double strike to a four power creature. I don't really know what the opponent was playing around by pl blocking here. Maybe nothing. Seems, seems weird. I mean, seemed weird. They could have taken one, one less damage. And I don't think there are many cards in the set that, that would make them want to take one more damage for some reason. I don't know. Maybe there's a card I don't know about, or maybe that was just a a slight slight mistake. I don't know. Either way, things are still working out pretty well for me. My attack is going to be less good next turn. If I ever draw a land, my opponent is going to be pretty dead to the Smoldering Werewolf. That thing is so good. Jeez. I mean, the... Yeah. Obviously, I've been playing that only twice, but... It's been so good so far. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, the... The 3-2... Uh, the 3-2 is already pretty good. Uh, that deals, you know, one damage to two creatures, and then when you flip that, it, it's completely insane. And it has four toughness, so you cannot attack into everything, but still. Okay. Okay, sure. Uh, sure, that's a move you can make. So, ooh, well, is that good? Is that better than just being able to pump the rabble? So, yeah, I think the opponent is actually dead. No, they go to one actually, but they will have to chum block that, which is pretty brutal because they take four from this and this trigger. So they go down to 3. And then they have to block here and here, otherwise they die. I think it's better than playing that and pumping stuff. So we'll go with that. And you know, there's not many tricks that really get me here. Again, for one blue mana, the opponent can pump the scab, but that's about it. They might just concede to the flipping wolf. No? Okay, sure. Uh, 2 to your face. Alright. The thing is really brutal, like, you you either have to play a very big creature that doesn't die to the, to the, to damage, or you take 8 each turn. So we are gonna trade here, the opponent is gonna go, go down to 1, and they'll be left with nothing. They have to make this enable to attack, because if it attack, if it attacks they will die. And they need to deal with three other creature. And I don't think there's any Wrath of God in... Yeah, the, un the only Wrath effect is in white in this set. 
don't think there's anything in black that would do the trick. So this should be a first win for the white red beatdown deck and my first Eldritch Moondraft. Okay, worked out fine. Uh, yeah, that was sweet. I mean, first game, pretty mediocre draw, but the werewolf was insane. Second game, very good draw and the werewolf was insane, so pretty good. Hope you guys enjoyed that first game and I see you for round two.